Hello everyone, today we will be looking at the simple search implementation on Flutter, a real time search implementation and it's a little description page for it. Now here is the simple boilerplate code for the Flutter. Now I have done nothing like just created the my home page and it returned body as a home page. I am importing the necessary library for this home page and create a function home UI. We will be fetching the online JSON data so here's the JSON data link given in the description. Let me quickly put aside a link and comment it for later use. It's simply written the scaffold and like I have already created this app so I am pasting it. The code will be given at the description. I will only be explaining the API fetching part and the search implementation part. The body return the column and its children accept the list of the widget. So I have created a widget like under expanded. I have created a simple text field. So in the on change property, uh, we are able to pass a function and just provide it the on changed value. That's why I have used the text field. It has created a simple search text field and I am again creating another widget expanded under child. I am giving the padding and under the padding I am giving 20 padding to all of it. Now it takes the child parameter and I am creating a list view which written the card. Now under this child property under its child property I am creating a list style which support the title and subtitle. The default value of the expanded flex is 1 is to 1 and I am changing it to 1 is to 7. Now the UI look pretty good. So I have written the card under the list view. I am changing it to gesture detector like to detect the tap and under gesture detector I will just paste this written card things oh sorry sorry like gesture detector support the child parameter now I can give the on tap property and simply print tapped whenever I tap on the list tile the message tapped will be printed on the console I can use this on tap property on gesture detector later to navigate to the description page. For the API fetching, let's create a get data function as in async. Oh, you have to import one dependency HTTP. Just uh, put it on the dependency HTTP latest version and enter flutter pop get. Now import the HTTP dot dot as HTTP to use it. I am creating a variable response. It await until there is a response from the URL. Like it hold the uh, response of the URL or it give the status of the response. So variable response is equal to await HTTP get URI dot parse and URL. Now uh, the response hold it status. So I can write if response dot status code is equal to is equal to 200. It means that if there is a valid response and if it is a valid response then we know that this URL give the JSON data. So we will decode JSON decode and the body of the response under the variable JSON data. Let me create a variable where JSON data. Okay, in a nutshell, there is a response from the URL and if response.status code is equal to true, that means if response is true, then the body of the response or the JSON response will be decoded and it will be stored under the JSON data variable. Else, we'll see a 
error message in the console. I am creating a list of map key value pair. The key is a string and the value is dynamic. And just set it to an empty list. Here I am creating an init state function. It is the function which runs before the app start. Inside this function, I will call the get data function. So this get data function will be called whenever the app start. And under this get data function, I am simply printing JSON data, and you are seeing in the console that it print all the JSON data. As you can see, it was just to check that our async function get data is working or not. Now let store all the result in the list of the map which we have created earlier. So we are using a for loop which go till the JSON data length and we are adding it to the all user. Like the all user is a list of map of string and dynamic as a key value pair. So simple for loop and we are adding all the name to the name, all the id to the id, all the age to the age. Key is the name id is and value is the json data value. Now we are printing this all user. Also in the site title and subtitle, let's change to the all user index name and all user index is. let quick reload the application okay because the all user isn't like defined at the first time so we are just creating a set state okay still error uh, we have also undefined item count like it doesn't know how many list styles should i create so i am saying item count is equal to all user dot length now it is working search feature will not still work for search implementation let's create a new list of map string dynamic and give name as a new user to hold the temporary list so in the text field on change property just print value and let's see what happen the on change property value will be printed now you can see in my console that it is printing the unchanged value so we can use it to implement the search result now we'll create a function update list and pass this unchanged value let's create a function update list we take a value name it as a val val uh, actually this is a string so we take a string value as a parameter now we are checking if this parameter is empty then the new user list is called to the all user means original user if it is not empty then we'll search the value using a simple query the new user will be all user all user where this element name where this element name converted to to string and again converted to lowercase contains the uh, value converted to string converted to lower it was a simple query to implement the search result here we are converting the entered value to string to lowercase which is compared with the list to string to lowercase so it is very easy but as we can see that the search result isn't actually implemented so here put all this code inside this set state function Uh, still not working 
okay like we have to give the new user all over it also in the item count now let's see as you can see it is working fine but there is a problem at the first glance the app is not showing this full list as you can see I am hot reloading it and it's not showing the full list it's because the new user value isn't updated at once like you have to do it once yourself to understand it so as you can see when I type it is showing the list but at the first glance the list is not showing as the new user value is empty uh, to solve it you can simply put a set state function and inside it just new user is equal to all user the search implementation is working fine ok now you can see at the first glance all the result are showing for the description page create a description dot dot and I have created a simple widget which takes a parameter name and age and of course context which in turn return a center widget and under its child property we are simply returning a text of this name and age value to implement this just go to the just the detector on tap property and simple write the navigation dot push and in the route material page route which call the function description and pass the new user name and new user age so here I am calling the description widget and in the name and is parameter I am simply passing the new user name and new user is in the is parameter I can simply copy paste it now everything should be working fine dot to string let's see how it work okay semicolon let's see how it work okay now everything is working properly fine we are heading over the destination page also description page so thanks for watching